Korea's real attractions are hidden all over the country. You can travel to anywhere in the country in just one day. Glimpse of Korea introduces the hidden attractions of Korea. Today, we're traveling to Asan and Yangpyeong, two hours away from Seoul. Farm Village represented the quiet and clean air and able to do the farm experience. Hi, this is Fabian Yoon, Glimpse of Korea's MC. I am here at Weam Folk Village in Asan. So here is the perfect place for people like me who are extremely busy and really miss a quiet country atmosphere. But I'm not going to be by myself today because a few others are going to be joining me on this trip. Welcome Nate and Henry. Hi guys. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, good, good. good. Nate won the award of New York Post and Asia's Best Food Blogger two years in a row. Hendrik won the Best Travel Blog at the annual Singapore Blog Awards 2015. Welcome to Korea. Thank you. And welcome to Weam Asan Folk Village. Should we go? Yeah, yes. let's go. Go guys, follow me. Today, Glimpse of Korea team visit the Weam Folk Village in Asan. This place is very famous village with the Korean traditional houses that stay the same as old times, beautifully rounded by nature. Especially, this folk village can see the old world of Korea's beauty, and we are able to experience a lifestyle of the after Korea's Joseon Dynasty period. Let's go to the Weon Folk Village that's known for recreation of the old Korea's traditional features. All right, so here we are. These are like the traditional houses. Uh -huh. So guys, can you guess like what are these uh, thatched roofs made of? Uh, straw? Straw, yeah. It's actually rice straw. And like people at that time, they used like the rice straws for a lot of things. Like you, we can see here. Mm, it's very eco-friendly. Yeah, yeah. They, they use it like sometimes like, you know, to make these kind of things like shoes for sure. like commoners. Nice. Can we wear them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, should, you can try it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not my size, maybe it's your <laughs> Maybe it's my size. Yeah. Rice straw was the old ancestor's wisdom that's commonly found in Korea's traditional houses. Koreans who lived with nature used rice straw that the steams left over after milling rice to make roof or other life's instruments. Also, we can touch and feel the traditional folk instruments here at Asan Folk Village. Experience the smooth starched cloth by beating it with wooden sticks. Makes the powerful rhythm and cheerful sound with combination of wood and stone. It adds more excitement on this travel. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Nice job. The traditional house, Sarangche, is a place that's the men's quarters and a residence. Watch your head. Okay. Iri Onora! What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this popular like thing in Korean movies. Like uh -huh. when you call people, you say Iri Onora. It's like just the thing in <laughs> Korean movies. <laughs> this is called the uh, 사랑채. Mm -hmm. So you heard the the word 사랑 before? Like 사랑해. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, exactly. Like 사랑해 is I love you. 사랑채 is like uh, it's the man's uh, quarter in a residence. Oh. So it's like uh, they use it like to entertain like the guest. It's only for um, the men. Only the men can get inside mm -hmm. the 사랑채. Like we are traveling the Joseon Dynasty period. There are many places to experience the old Korean people's culture one by one. Also, there are many other interesting traditional experiences that make our eyes and mouth happy in Weon Folk Village. Using the mysterious fruit, chicha, which are able to get a beautiful yellow color, let's learn the natural dyeing in Korea's traditional way. Steep a white cloth in boiling chicha fruit water, which makes yellow natural color. 
네. 따뜻하지요. 네. 어떻게 됐어요? 이렇게 한번 보시겠어요? 오우. 응. 색깔 예쁘지요. 아, 네. 이렇게 조물조물조물 할 거예요. 네. 이렇게 해야 이게 많이 들어요. 네. 그래서 이거를 다 들인 상태에서 이렇게 해서 꼭 짜실 거예요. Keep rubbing the white cloth with hand in Chicha natural dyeing water and expect to see the beautiful color. 어때 예쁘지요? Yeah. <웃음> We can learn from the Koreans' wisdom with their ability of creating the natural color by using the fruit from the nature. 자, 이제 이제 음. 음. It's good. 음. Mm 음. -hmm. Mm. It's sweet. How do you like it? I like it. You have to ask the food like specialist. It's <laughs> We like fighting. One, I, I, Star Wars pictures. One, two, three. I've been to Suwon village before, but this one is very different because it's so beautiful. Everything is blanketed in snow. So I really love the experience. The next village that we are visiting is Sumi Village. Sumi Village is located in Yangpyeong, which is rounded by peaceful mountain and good water. Also, they open many kinds of festivals 365 days a year. And there are many healthy food and exciting farm experiences that can make happy memories ever. It's uh, like this area is really famous for like, and during winter, yeah, they go like fruit picking or just like, just flying kites, stuff like that. There is a lot of things to do here, a lot of festivals. Mm -hmm. In Sumi Village, we can look around the farmland with riding tractor. Let's feel the beauty of nature by crossing the farmland. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a kite. Uh, actually, like in Korea, it's really, really famous. Like all the kids fly kites. Mm -hmm. I think that person is flying the kite. Ah. 안녕하세요. 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 저 외국인 친구들이랑 놀러 왔는데 우리 어리도 한번 해볼 수 있을까요? 할수 있을까? 한번 해볼까요? 한번 해볼까요? Did you try before? Yeah, yeah, you once. Like, yeah? Once only. All right, all right. Okay, okay. <laughs> the Korea's represented folk game, the kite, is only made with paper and wooden stick. It is very simple method, and people of all ages can feel the big happy moment while they are playing this folk game. <laughs> ah! It is very popular for healing experience, which can relieve the stress by flying the kite. Depends on skills of flying kite. It flies high and low. Controlling kite by using wind is very exciting. <laughs> you okay? I really enjoyed flying the kite today because it reminded me a lot of my childhood. Uh, I used to do that uh, quite often when I was little, but not so much now. So 
I had so much fun when I was playing with the kite, I even fell down. <laughs> and uh, I, I wasn't really thinking, oh, did I hurt myself or am I dirty? But I just wanted to get the kite back up as fast as possible. So yeah, it was very fun. <laughs> The famous thing in Sumi village is the strawberry with a high sugar content. When spring comes, they open the strawberry festival. So, village is filled with a scent of strawberry. On the strawberry farm, we can eat and pick the appetizing strawberries. <laughs> As if you're drinking kombe. Mm. Mm. They're so juicy, mm. like so sweet. It's really, really good. A lot of sugar. So good. <laughs> Sumi Village's strawberries grows in a healthy environment, so we can taste the strawberry right after harvest. When we bite a strawberry, it makes you feel fresh and healthy. Do you want to know how we enjoy more the taste of strawberry? We will make kangjang with this grain syrup, which is made of our strawberries that we picked with our hands. After mixed with strawberry grain syrup and rice cracker, make any shapes that we want and solidify the cracker. When it's done, it is finished. <laughs> with this simple recipe, we can make many different kinds of shapes of strawberry kangjang with our happy imagination. Alright, come back! <laughs> I was very happy because this was my very first time flying the kite and the kite just went up. So that's, that's amazing. The strawberries were so good. It was really, really very good. Uh, it was so sweet, so juicy. And uh, yeah, it, it, in Singapore, we don't really have like large farms and, and, and uh, things like that. So it was very nice, new, quite a new experience to go uh, plucking strawberries. If you visit the Nate and Hendrik Tay's blog, you can enjoy more and behind story of this travel.